2.4 terabits per second, sending 173 million books in the U.S. Library of Congress in five seconds, all through this chip. I'm Michael Hainsworth, live at MWC 23 in Barcelona. James joins us now, and James, network operators have a lot of problems to solve when it comes to throughput. They absolutely do. They have exploding demands for capacity, huge pressure on performance and latency, strong limits on the total cost of operations they can afford, and on top of that, under significant pressure to operate these networks sustainably. And when they're working on that, they're using this PSE6S chip, and it's a remarkable chip. How do you accomplish this? Well, a lot of work by a lot of talented individuals in the R&D teams and in Bell Labs. And, and what they've put together is something that delivers 2.4 terabits per second, delivers 1.2 terabits per second on a single wavelength, can push 800 gigabits a second across up to 2,000 kilometers, and does all that for 60% less power consumption. Less power consumption is critical in this day and age. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there, there, there's no doubt for multiple reasons. Cost of energy is skyrocketing, and we just can't assume to consume power the way we have been in the past as a society. Now you've got some real world examples of this in action. Yeah, we just announced a trial we did with Global Connect of this. Uh, great record breaking results. Uh, as I said, 800 gigabits pushed. 2,000 kilometers, over 2,000 kilometers on a real world fiber plant. Now, the most important answer that I need to get out of you is, is this going to help my kid reduce lag while playing Fortnite? Absolutely, huge, huge way to bound latency is using high-end optical networks. Keep that latency down. By the way, 800 gigs per second is a great match to our industry-reading routers, which are an equally important part of bounding your, your child's latency problems. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Michael. We are live at MWC 23 in Barcelona. I'm Michael Hainsworth.